I wish my autofocus would correct this even more on my camera, but here's where we're at. Ratios and rates, and yes, this is review. We have talked about ratios and rates. We've done activities about them. My concern was we did not have notes on them. And so as we move forward, if there's something about it you forget, I want you to have a way to go back and look. My expectation is as I'm doing these notes, you're doing them with me. But do know it's being recorded. So if something, if you don't like taking notes while I talk and you'd rather just watch, you can rewatch later and take the notes at that time. Um, if you are in a desk that's not facing forward, please feel comfortable moving your desk and yourself to make it so you can take notes. The desks are movable. All right, so three definitions first. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities using division. There's some words I want us to underline here. Ratio is a comparison of two quantities using division. And let's highlight that word ratio. What's being shown here is that a ratio can be written in three ways. Let's see if I can get a better view of this. It's a little bit better. So I have two to five. It looks like a fraction here, uh, but it's not a fraction. It's a ratio because fractions are comparing part to whole. So like two fifths of a pizza or two fifths of the of a brownie tray or something. Um, in this case, we're talking about two to five of something. It could be uh, two apples to five oranges, two different quantities. It's also written here as two to five with the, the word two. And it's written here as two to five with a little piece of punctuation. We've got that colon in there. So we'll be practicing writing those three ways in a moment. The next definition is rate. A rate is a ratio with different units. So feet, hours, distance, time, money to gallons. And a rate with a denominator of one is called a unit rate. So denominator of one is the important part here. If we can get this down to 20 feet in one hour, we know that that is the unit rate for that t distance and that time. So now we're going to move down to finding ratios and rates. The direction here says write the ratio as a fraction in simplest form, 12 dogs to 16 cats. What do you see here first? We see a ratio with the words in it. I like to refer to this as a ratio map. It tells us that whatever happens as we're doing these comparisons, the number on the top is going to be dogs and the number on the bottom is going to be cats. We're not talking about a numerator and a denominator here necessarily because this is written in fraction form and we can do everything we can do with fractions, divide them, make equivalent ones, but this is a ratio comparing dogs to cats in this case. There's 12 dogs to 16 cats. The question is what is the ratio of dogs to cats? Well, it's three to four because that is in its simplest form and we break it down to the simplest form. Make sense so far? And does this feel like review? All right. 
The next example is finding the unit rate. In this case, we have miles per gallon, 256 miles per eight gallons. Here we have miles on the top, gallons on the bottom, and they basically have taken this straight from the words and put it, whatever's first usually is up on top, and whatever is second usually ends up on the bottom. Distance is always on top. Money is always on top. We'll see some more examples. Then we've taken 256 miles and divided it by eight, and eight gallons and divided it by eight. Why eight? Because we need the denominator to be equal to one. For it to be a unit rate, if you recall up here, it has a denominator of one. So we're dividing both the miles and the gallons by eight so we can get that gallon down to one. When we do that, we end up with 32 miles per gallon. That is the unit rate. So let's take a moment to do a little practice. I want you to try writing these ratios in simplest form. 